very good evening. Um, it's Monday, so it's Monthly Make Monday, and it's our last Monday using our pickles because next Monday we'll be opening July's box. I nearly said August because I'm working on that today, but it is it's going to be July's box, so we'll be opening that next Monday um, and having a bit of a play with that one. Oh, hello everyone! Hi, Lynn. Hi, Helen. Pauline, Zena, Alice. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to play with tonight. But I can't quite decide what we're going to do. I was thinking we might do some rainbow cactuses. Um, but then I also fancy doing some backgrounds. So what do you guys fancy? Do you fancy um, some oxide backgrounds? Or do you fancy some rainbow cactus? Tough choice, I know. <laughs> so let me know which one you fancy. Um, also, I'll apologise now if my phone runs out of power because I haven't bought um, my well I have got my phone charger but it won't stand up in my cradle so if I if I run out of power if I run out of power I'll, I'll um, read my comments for a few minutes oh hi Alison oh lovely holly bobs love holly bobs <laughs> um, hi Leslie um, so yeah which one are we doing are we going to do a big texture background and then put our cactus on it or rainbow cactus do rainbow cactus. Okay, okay, I'll move my oxide for just sound. <laughs> right, so that's what we're gonna do tonight. Um rest of, we've got a really busy week here. Um Wednesday I'm gonna do a quick sneaky peek of our new Christmas range that we are well, our new Christmas stamps that we have got on the craft store on Thursday at seven o'clock. So I'm gonna do that Wednesday at six o'clock. Thursday we're on the craft store at seven and then on Friday we're back here at eight o'clock as usual for Friday crafting. So, should we get going? Let's do some rainbow cactus. I can do a little bit of dribbling as well. See what happens, shall we? Let me find the right place. I've moved my desk today. <laughs> and I'm still hitting my leg on the uh, my leg on the leg of the desk. <laughs> Never mind. So I'm going to move them to one side because I don't want to use them. There's only a few. We've only done a few Christmas ones. Um, there's like one main set and a few other bits. But they are the fun to play with and really quick to do. They don't look it, but they are really quick. So, I should have a bit of a play. My idea is we're going to have a row of cact cactus, cacti at the bottom. And then... We will do, maybe do a little bit of dribbling at the top, I think. I saw, I think, is it Unawala that um, put a post on the group with some dribbling on the other day? And I thought, I have not done that in ages. Looks like I've got more, more space. No, I think my camera's just a bit, um, <laughs> a bit wider. <laughs> um oh hello everyone so oh hi mum hi michelle hi patricia right so my idea is we're gonna have a bit of cactusy fun coming up the bottom and then i really fancy doing a bit of a background i know i said oh we'll do rainbow cactus and we still will but i still want a little bit of background going on here as well so this is a bit chicken and egg because I'm going to waste a bit of brush out to do my background but then we will go for it so I need red let me get a proper orange gamboge isn't well sandstone is definitely not orange is it <laughs> red orange yellow I think is on my desk Oh, it's sunburst lemon, that'll do. Um, red, orange, yellow, neat green. So I've got lovely leaf green. And blue, oh, I'm going to use a proper blue, not turquoise. So I always use turquoise, don't I? So I'm going to use blue as well. <laughs> but it does look a bit like a strawberry, doesn't it? I'm glad though that people have seen different things in the stamps. That's, that's a good thing. 
Uh, everyone's so slightly different in this month's stamp, so that's what we like to see. Now, let me get me bits and bobs in place. And, right, I think I'm all set up now. I think. I'm going to start off with my red. I don't know why I was squirting my desk first. So I want a little bit of red. And remember, when you're dribbling, you want it to be really, really wet. It's been a while since I've done this, and I'm not sure about this card, but we'll go for it. So I've got a cream card today. I don't know if you can quite tell. It's not my usual white. It's a cream one. It's already cut, so I thought I'd use it. Right, paintbrush now. There he is. Actually, I'll use my big fat one instead. So when you come to do your dribbling, you want it a little bit more watery than normal. And also your spritzers are quite good for this. So I'm just loading it up on there. I wonder whether I can be tidy enough. I should start with my yellow if I was going to do it this way. I'll put yellow in the middle. This is where like a coated card actually comes in really handy. I think it's draining too much. Absolutely is draining too much. I've got it wet enough. It is easier to do with spritzers. I should have just got on ahead and got me uh, little mini misters out. Nearly, nearly there with it. So I'm just going to spritz it just to get it going. There we go. I need some blue at this end, don't I? I've got some more that want to go as well. See, once you've got your dribbles going down, it's so much easier. Can you see? Once you've got it loaded to that point. Your dribbles do tend to run a bit easier because it's saturated then isn't it but like i say it is easier if you've got like a bit of a coated card and like here where it's not quite coming down let's just encourage it to form a dribble that's a very weak dribble hang on and there we'll encourage one as well just there squirt me paper again with it being a little bit further down my page but I'm being really picky now aren't I looks like a right dribbly mess at the moment it won't I don't think I'm going to cheat and squirt my paper as I go this time have some nice lovely blue so this, I think this is Ost blue I'm using oh there's black almost there didn't mean it to be that dark Too much water at this end. Never mind. Doesn't help when I'm sat here taking it up the right way, does it? There we go. Right. Happy ish with it. If I was being really picky, like I said. I should have started it a bit further down my page and it would have been easy for the dribbling then but I think my cactus are actually going to come up quite high as well aren't they so I'm going to get rid of these puddles off my desk I'm just going to try and wipe this down a little bit this wasn't the right card to try and do a dribble on it's very um, absorbent the one time like coated oh there we go that's 
that's a bit better, isn't it? Didn't realise we've gone out of focus then. I say I want to be the last piece of kitchen wall, that won't do, will it? Just spotted another one, it's only got about three sheets, but it'll have to do. <laughs> I always have bits of kitchen rolls, I never have full ones on me there. So I'm just going to dry this off. I love this one here, I don't know, you can see you've got the yellow and your pink, uh, your red mixing really well. Oh, look at that on the back. Kind of cool on the back, isn't it? It doesn't have to be perfectly dry. Well, I'm using this fan clear, so it needs to be a bit drier than normal. Right. So now I want five. Yep. So like odd numbers, don't we? Can't quite decide my layout at the moment. So let's do a little bit of background work first. Where's he gone? There he is. So. I want some really pale little triangles in the background. I'm thinking I might go toffee or a bit of smoky grey. A bit of smoky grey, I think. I always change my mind, don't I? And I want a scrappy piece of paper. Never find scrappy bits of paper when you need them, can you? Post it note will do. Remember, second generation, otherwise I think it's just going to overpower it a bit too much. about this as well is because it's got the straight line it's dead easy to make sure it's straight you know on your triangles <laughs> there we go I don't know if you can see that a little bit faint in the background yeah right and then I must start stamping my cacti so I sound like the count don't I of um, Sesame Street so oh, oh. Now I need to decide which is going to be my focal cacti. I think should we put one in the middle? So it'd be red. So my bright yellow cactus would be. I mean my centre one would be bright yellow. I'm not quite sure about that. So I'll get going in a minute. It will, it'll all fall into place in a moment or two, won't it? I'm just faffing with the design. I think we're going to go. I can't hold that. Oh, that was too much. Too much for today. So I'm going to grab my black. And I want my pointy ones coming up here. And then my little 
so little Miss Prickle's coming up here and then Tom Thorne's going to come across You can hear the cogs turning, can't you, some nights? No, no sneaky peeks tonight. We're going to do that on Wednesday. I will have a little bear with me, but he's promised he'll help. Not hinder. <laughs> so we're going to do sneaky peeks about six o'clock. Oh, well, at six o'clock on Wednesday. And those are what we will have on the craft store on Thursday night. I'm going to go a bit like that, I think. They're not going to be floating, I promise. We will. Nobody wants a floating cactus. Imagine. Imagine that you'd be getting prickles everywhere, wouldn't you? make a quick mask because I haven't got a clue where I left my masks from the last time so making sure I stick on this um, stamp on the sticky bit oh there we go perfect can just see them and then we'll pop I've mixed all my sets up so I don't quite know Right, so this one is going to come in here. And I don't want them to mirror. This one's going to come right out of its noodle, just like that. Should have done two, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, hi Tracy! No, I've not had a prickly pear. It does sound interesting though. I think we'll have another one like that. And then I'm going to cheat because I'm going to use the one from the um, advent calendar as well, I think. Hi, Susie. Have that one. And then I'm just going to use this little one off the Christmas, uh, the advent calendar. So we're talking about Christmas cards, isn't it? <laughs> so, red, orange, yellow. Oh, this one will be green. Green cactus. <laughs> I'm going to do, what do you reckon, two little ones? I didn't put that in a very comfortable place to stamp them. Oops. It does make a big difference when you stamp in. If you've got your stamp in a comfortable position, otherwise you're just making things harder for yourself. You really are. I'm going to pop that one coming out there. Right, so we've got two Little Miss Prickles at the front. And now we're going to pop our Tom Thorne on. I'm going to loosely put that on there. So we're just going to create our mask really quickly. So I'm going to go round here. Um, personal preference here. I'm going down the centre of my line so I don't get as much of a halo. You, if you wanted to, when you're masking, you could go around the edge and then you get like a lovely um, halo, I guess is the best word, isn't it? To do. Whereas with this one. And he's going to come and sit here. The other thing to remember, things at the front will be lower down my page. So when I go to put one in the background, the base of it is going to be here. Yeah, because if it's in front, then it would have been, if it's further down, it would have been in front, wouldn't it? So we need to step it back. Hopefully that made sense. Hi, Violet. Going around the edge really quickly. These are so easy to crowd, aren't they? They really are. She says, and then she went way off a line. It's a cactus. No one's going to notice, are they? It had an extra prickly side that one. 
and I've just realised you didn't warn me. I need to um, do a little one for our little fellow that's there. <laughs> Wait for you to tell me, honest. <laughs> I didn't forget to do it. Just do a little teeny one. I didn't have any stick left on the other post-it note if you're wondering why I wasted. Wasn't enough room. Put that there for a second. And just chop this one out. So anything we are about to stamp over the top of, we need to just mask off a little bit. Just like that. Oh, see you later. <laughs> oh, a few of you having Wi-Fi. Oh, internet issues tonight. It's the rain. Let's blame it on the rain. The rain's finally come. Right, Tom Thorne, where have you gone? There you are, my dear. Post-it note stuck to my finger. So again, I'm going to pop this one to the back. Yep, so it needs to be further back so it's behind. Yep. There we go. There we go. This one's going to go at a bit of an angle, I think. Just like that. This is why it's kind of chicken and egg as well with this, whether we did our dribbles first or second. There's that one. There we go. And then let's stamp our others in there. <laughs> oh no, it's definitely started raining here. <laughs> See, it's not just me losing comments in tonight. Oh, look, I nearly did it. I was nearly going to stamp over that one. So whilst I've got this inked up, I'm going to come over here and stamp where I know it's safe for me to stamp this one. Just like that. Now it's just, well, on and off raining and then it's just started really raining. So this one I need a mask off as well. See, I knew there's a reason we had that teeny tiny little bit left. Because we need one of these little strawberries. Oops. That's not a very nice noise, was it? It's like um, scratching a chalkboard. I lost track of what our weather's meant to be doing, Alice. It's um, all over the shop, shall we say. Oh, hmm. I have had my Christmas jumper on, so that's how cold it's been. Right, so he is going to go about there. I just need to make sure it is behind is in the background yep so sometimes when you are um masking off people go well, it hasn't worked it doesn't look right and it's all because you've not put whatever's furthest forward needs to be the lowest down on your page and then you just step back as in step further up your page yeah 
my scissors, mine are Frisker. They're really cool. They help my hand. Because you don't have to... Use, I can't even use proper scissors anymore. Because I suffer with um, arthritis at my wrist. I don't have to use my thumb. I can use my palm and my hand to do it. My, my flabby bit there. Yeah. They are really good though. And they do last a while. I've got one of my other pairs is on here somewhere. Right, so can you see? You can see which ones are now in the background and which ones are in the foreground. So first thing I need to do is it's driving me crackers because they are floating into space. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of, you know what I'm like, it, dry, it does drive me crackers when things are just floating. I'm going to grab my gamboge to begin with and where's my little paintbrush? There. Yeah, so I just want a bit of sand. To be fair, I should have just quickly run the heat gun over this. And I'm going to. Because I'm using my Versafine Claire like we were discussing the other night. It takes a little bit to dry. Versafine, um, it's normal. <laughs> Versafine is normally fine. Um, whereas the Versafine Claire, you just need to watch it because it will go a little bit wet for a little bit longer, and so it'll start to bleed if you're not careful. I'm just doing a quick blast of my heat gun. I've got a fab idea. These are all going to be coloured in different colours as well. See, it's all thinking on our feet, isn't it? Crafting as we go. I do you like the back? There we go. Right. So let's get painting again, shall we? I'm just going to grab some brush out and let's get these cactus. in some sort of soily desert kind of should be using my sandstone now looking at it <laughs> there we go so much better doesn't it just having them grounded it's really strange isn't it what We all, um, what we worry about. Mine's floating plants, especially cactus. <laughs> oh, that was my scissors going on the floor, so let's hope we don't need my scissors again. And a valuable lesson of why I should wear shoes as well. Right, so we've got our cactus. They're no longer floating, they've been grounded. They could have been grounded because it's been naughty, but I'm going to pick my scissors up before I stand on them. Right. We're back. So, let's start off with our red. Now, red is one of the colours that I really... Not dislike. That's a little bit too harsh, isn't it? It's not one of my preferred colours because you go from lovely subtle red to murder scene quite quickly using red especially with brusho so less is definitely better when it comes to using red in your brusho see it just goes all of, it it just goes so quick from beautiful to very Yeah, murder scene, I think, is the best description of it. So it's one of the colours I do avoid using. So we're just going to, you know how to do this with your brush now. You start off with a real pale base to it. We could have just used pattern paper. That'd have worked, wouldn't it? It 
it's true though Alison you'd be amazed how quickly it goes from beautiful to oh my what have I done and then I'm now very gently to be fair this was the tricky one to start with going red I'm going to start adding a bit more detail to our little cactus so we're starting to go up Start adding a bit more to Mr. Tom Thorne. He's a thorny character, you know. And we're just going to slowly build it up, see? There seems to be no middle ground with red. When you see people painting and colouring and using red, I'm always in awe of it. It is such a tricky colour. Really, really tricky. But the nice thing about brush out is that if it does go too dark, you do go back in with a bit of water. But sometimes there's no rescue in that at all. Just like that, I'm going to start to just put a little bit more at the top. So we've got our red nearly done. So we're going to go orange next, which isn't red, so I won't be as panicky colouring in. There we go, and we'll come back in in a minute and add some doodlings to these fellas. And just make sure as well when you've been using red, you need to really clear your brush out as well. That does really look like a strawberry, and I know it's not the strawberry cactus, but it does look like a bit like a strawberry. The red, orange, we're on a roll now. A lot easier to do now. And it will be a bit of clean my desk off properly. And that's the other thing, it tends to stick on your desk for a while. Coming in with our red orange. So again, a lovely pale add to our proper squeaky chair again. We have, we've been singing songs with these characters, aren't we, for ages? Okay. I can't think of any songs that'll go with next month. I don't think so, anyway. We might be safe for a month. Oh, have a good evening, Alice. Might be safe for one month. No singing. <laughs> So to be fair, I haven't seen strawberries, so might not be what I think it is by the time it reaches you guys. That's the nice thing though, when you're designing and things. So you get fixated on what it is. And then when everyone gets to work with it, they come up with different ideas. Thanks for adding in. to add some more dark colour so I'm going around my little splodgy bits I've got orange strawberries now <laughs> Ooh, way too much there so again just because it's brush you can start to Drag it out a little bit. I like 
I love deep quads. Especially on our bigger one. So, I think I'm quite happy with him. Next one. It's my last piece of kitchen oil, it's not, is it? I've got a couple of pieces there. Not the nights we were in our kitchen roll, is it? <laughs> Red, orange, yellow. We've got a yellow Tom Thorne next. Now, this is Sunburst Lemon, so he is going to be absolutely neon. Which could be quite interesting. Look at the colour in that. Beautiful and neon. You're going to sick of me painting this in. Oh, I'm going to have to blow my nose. <sighs> it's the kitchen roll. Oh, excuse me. It's downside of it raining, isn't it? You hate for your lift kicks off. Good and proper. Right, let's just keep. Adding in. Just add in a few more bits and pieces in. Quite cool so far, isn't it? Try it with me. Look to green now, aren't we? It's a good job I put them. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> I put them laid out in front of me, <laughs> so I don't forget what order I'm doing them in. A little bit of green. Another little, little Miss Prickles. Let's go quite, it's quite dark, so I need a bit more water to it. Just filling it in. You can see I'm not even being. Um, careful about it I'm just throwing the, the initial layer down it's then when we come to add the next little bits the deeper colour I'll try and be technical the deeper colour we will more concentrated colour so I'll start to add Oh, that's gone deep. You often find as well with your brusher when you've got a mixed colour, like your leaf greens and things like that, you'll suddenly hit quite a patch of like a darker colour, like I've done in this one. But you can quite see um, it's almost had a lot of the like darker pigment together. Just like it before. Just go around wherever it might be a little bit darker. 
unless you've got prickles hanging out and all that. Got a book on its edge. There we go. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? I think what's throwing me off as well is we're on cream card, aren't we, tonight? So it's just that's adding to. It. If we were on white, yeah, those cactus would be really standing out a lot more. But because we're on cream, it is actually quite subtle. Right, and last one, our blue. Mm. That's, that's not going to be blue because it's still got green on the table. Teeny tiny bits of our brush out. Look how that blue's fighting back through this cat system. There's no putting that blue to the back, is there? Again, I'm just going to test it first. Mm, should be okay. Just activate a little bit more because he's quite a big one, is our Tom Thorn. He's going to take quite a bit of paint because he's got a lot of open space, hasn't he? Just go a teeny tiny bit more. There we go. And then just do exactly the same as what we've been doing. Without coming in. Actually fancy going quite deep with this blue. I've been working in blue today as well. Oops, too dark. <laughs> give that a second to start to dry and all I'm going to do just to knock it back as you can see I'm just grabbing some paint on my brush uh, some water even and I'm just going to drag it down the page a bit more so it just softens it out a little bit See all the different colours coming out of our Ost blue can There we go, that's better. A little bit of shade coming up here. There we go, it's quite cool. So, got our blues. I've got a decorated table. I've not got a clue, Tracy, what, what that's meant to be. I always thought. Oh, thank you, Joshua. I always thought when I first started out with the brushes that Ost was your pure. But it's not it's actually mixed so i'll have to ask next time i'm speaking to them the guys over at color craft i will ask oh actually next time i'm speaking to claire <laughs> i'll ask claire what it means so i'm just going to give it a quick drive because i want to put a little bit of doodling onto it we need to do something because they're still looking like they're floating a little bit and it is starting to just, mm, you know what I'm like when we have floating bits. And actually, I've got a perfect stamp to go on this. Okay, I've not done anything special with this one at all, we've just done a bit of dribbling. Played with a few brush out colours. You could if you wanted to go in on these. Could you imagine if you just took a coloured pencil in on them? That would be 
So nice. So again, might need to sharpen this pencil because he wasn't very happy earlier. Just gonna put a few little sand ripples here in my pencil first. Can you see as well, I'm playing with my little bits of brush out. So here I've got a bit of a the brush out making a nice um, shape. So let's go in and play with that. Again. Just start to add a little bit of where we want it. Just under there. Oops, I'm a bit <laughs> got a bit heavy handed then I don't know whether you can quite make that out. Just add in a bit more. To these ones. So it just adds a little bit of shape. Yeah. Well, actually, that looks pretty cool. Close up. <laughs> there we go. And then, anywhere you think it might just benefit from a little bit of. Yeah, little alien eyes. Should do an alien one, shouldn't we? It's quite sad, isn't it? We're coming to the end of our cactus month. I mean, I've had fun with it. It's been quite a fun one to play with this month. Not that next month's going to be. It's got big shoes to fill, hasn't it, next month? Prickly shoes to fill like that. a little bit of shading going on there and then I'm going to do black actually I'm going to do white I put a few extra <laughs> I've got to admit this was one of those sets that I was like oh people are either going to love this set or hate it um, but I think it's going to go on quite well We want more cactus, more funny, weird plants. Add a few little prickly bits right here. Might need to get me black out on this. We might want black on that one, might we? But they are the fun little stamps, aren't they? Just well, they're not little. Be my try, my kids. The cactuses are not little. They are beefy stamps. Good size. I've not put a flower on. <laughs> they they would look fab with little faces on. We did say that at the beginning of the month, didn't we? There's so much we said, oh we must do that. And then we've just not Oh she looks like she's got a hairy head now. Whoops. Mm. 
this one's Tom Thorne, isn't he? So it's not a her. He can have a hairy head, this one. I'll get away with my white on this one, let's see, shall we? If we're dark enough again for the white. Yes. No, because it's gone crusty. But I'm just playing now with my doodling. You know what? I was going to lose me for a few minutes while I was doodling. It's just too much fun. really does look like a strawberry and orange, doesn't it? <laughs> right, I'm going to stop faffing. Let's just do this one. I'm seeing it in people in a ballroom. <laughs> we do. We probably do need some more cactus, don't we? We are fun. Right. So, what I was thinking, because we've got these little dots that we still need to colour in, I think they would look really cool in our rainbow colours again. But I think I'm going to use my little gel pens to see sparkle a little bit. Because, you know what we were saying about um, faces? This one, if you've already got eyelashes ready, just needs googly eyes on it. I've got a green. Let's see if I can find any pens. Blue. Need orange. The yellow, but not quite the yellow I wanted. And then orange, which will be more of a coppery colour, I think. There we go. Give them a quick. Oh, yes. Right. with our little gel pens. Ooh, what's going on with you? You're not a happy sausage. Needs more. We all only use pink. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? Been lying down for too long, I think. I'm not happy at all, this one. There you go, it's coming back now. There we go. So if I've now got a splodge of like oily yak on my much better. Doesn't like orange though now. Doing the same, you're not happy either. There we go, much better. And a bit of blue. Oh, I'm going to have three blues on this one. So that we're not greedy. 
<laughs> it's like a little sweetie, doesn't it? No, we're not greedy on this one. We'll do two. We'll work backwards. So blue, green. Green just looks like I forgot to colour it in, didn't it? Three green on this one. Orange. Yellow. And lovely red. There we go. So we've got like multicoloured cacti going on. I'll put these back in my box before I lose them. Tell me of the green now. It's hiding right there, look. So, I'm just going to grab, actually what I need it to do is just dry a little bit. Because you can see it's still very wet. And all I want to do is just go and put a little fleck in with my white pen. So, whilst that is drying, I'm just going to go and grab my stamp. Now, this is a bit of a spoiler alert. For those of you who sent in swaps, this is this month's swap stamp. So let me just run and grab it. Well, hobble. So if you've sent in swaps, you might want to close your eyes for a minute. Right, I'll put this one on. All my scraps are the same size, it's really weird. I suppose it will be though, won't they? So I'm just going to move that to one side. Didn't mean to throw it. <laughs> and the swaps are ready to go back out actually. They just need to head to the post box. So I'm going to pop that on there. There it is. Oh, I put my black ink's lid back on. How rude of me. Now I'm wishing I hadn't put my pens away. So, good things will come. Oops. Oh, that's all right, Noelle. We're going to be running. I'm going to keep running them. So. Um, hard and fast rules either so if you've made some send them in and i'll just include them in the next one so i'm going to do blue yellow and red i did say we might start doing um one of the lives we would make some together so is it coming up to half term not half term it's big school holiday might see a bear will do us a few. You know he's always up for it, isn't he? <laughs> right, so I'm going to start on the outside edge. So we're going to do blue. This is really colourful for me, isn't it? Yellow. So we're kind of mirroring. Mirroring. Don't even know what I said the first time. The colours of our dribbles. Can't be a good dribble though, can you? It does look really effective. There we go. So I've done yellow. You can hardly see it, can you? <laughs> well, I don't know about whether I'm that brave, letting Bear loose with Brusho again. No, it was pan pastels, wasn't it? He was bad with. It's in my desk orange. I have got a creation up on my wall there. It's staying on my wall because I'm not touching it to get it down. 
Right, so we've got a little bit of, there you go. We've got our three colours. I would, if I could find some. I think that would look quite nice. Oh, I've done it on white in my background paper to clean. Never mind, I'm being really picky now, aren't I? Let me see if I can just find a little scrap of... some journal pages done you did you posted them in the, the group what am I saying I saw them oh. see my mind's all kabobbled at the moment I'm just a quick little bit of glue should I get my pin back in otherwise it all glue You know me and my ever fight with glue. One of these days I'll learn how to use glue properly. So good things will come. Felt like a good saying for this one actually, didn't it? I must have known this is what we were going to do. Just need to be a bit careful because my gel pens will still be a little bit wet, so I don't want to rush them or smush them too much. stash of cards that we've not finished on TV you know where I've matted and up and everything so that'll go on there like so and then where did I just put my sentiment there he's gonna go on there just like that and then we're gonna have good things will come how cool is that I'm really impressed with that Oh, oh, the only thing I would do, I'm now getting really picky because I'm looking at it going, Ooh, what have I missed? Why haven't I done that? It's just down here. I'd probably just properly ground them because I've stamped it in black. I can get away with doing it, can't I? But I have. I'm, I'm getting carried away now, aren't I? Too much fun. I love crafting like this where you haven't got a clue where you're going. But we can. There we go. Now we've got a little sand. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's cool, isn't it? So we have got some rainbow cacti to finish off our. No, I fell off my chair, and that's why I shouted. Um, to finish off our prickly June. What's the make? Cool. I have really enjoyed doing that. I've not, not sat and painted like that in ages. It does look cool. I'm really pleased with it. Um, so that's it for me tonight. We are back, like I was saying before, we are back on Wednesday for a sneaky peek of Christmas and what we've got coming up on the craft store on Thursday. Um, hopefully I'll have everything loaded on our website as well. We are running an offer on um, the craft store which we will mimic on our website as well. So a little bit more about that closer to the time and um, so that's wednesday thursday we're on the craft store at seven o'clock i'm not sure who my presenter is so if i find out i'll let you know so that's seven o'clock on thursday and then we're back here on friday as usual at eight o'clock and um, i have got help on wednesday so it might take us it might take longer or shorter to go through my new stuff <laughs> um, anyway um that's that's it um I think that's everything I've got to tell you. Swaps will be going out in the post tomorrow. So, yeah, I would like it to be Yanis. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting Yanis again in a, in a hurry. Or Derek. Yeah, we do seem to cause trouble. <laughs> anyway. 
anyway thank you all for joining me i hope you've enjoyed that because i definitely did and i will see you all on wednesday so thanks for watching bye for now